Hey everyone, Steve Siebel back with publicspeakersblog.com. Hope you're staying safe out there in the midst of this COVID-19 crazy crisis. But what I want to talk about today is um, the speaking business's dirty little secret, and here it is. The key to success in the speaking business is not your marketing. The key to success in the speaking business is being really, really good on the platform. And most speakers that enter the business are not because they don't have a lot of experience and they don't really have the right knowledge or platform expertise to be really good. So they go out there and what they focus on is marketing. I know because I'm one of those dumb people that did that in 1996. I was $50,000 my first year and I thought I was really good because I was winning ribbons at Toastmasters. And I was the speech major in college and I got straight A's in my speech classes. That has nothing to do with getting paid to be a professional speaker. You have to have professional level platform skills. The skill, the, plat the ability to entertain and excite and hold the attention of a live audience, whether it's 20,000 people or it's five people at a major corporation. It doesn't really matter. You've gotta be able to hold their attention in a time where they wanna play with their favorite toy, which is their phone, and everyone's got one in their hand. But this is very misunderstood, and all these marketers, especially since the COVID crisis and, the, and everyone's at home now, are, are trying to sell everyone on marketing, speaker marketing. It's all about speaker marketing. Let me tell you something. I've been in this business full-time for 23 years, and I made a pretty good living doing it, and I will tell you that marketing is not the secret. The secret is being good. You are the product in this business, and being good is, is, is the key to it. In 1996, I lost $50,000. The next year, I went to Bill Gove's speech workshop and I made $182,000 that next year because I practiced what I learned in that professional level workshop. And that's what you have to do. You've got to really practice. You've got to know what to practice first. And then you got to go out there and practice over and over and over and over and over. Hundreds of times. Do as many free speeches as you possibly can. I, Bill Gove had me do 200 free speeches. Zig Ziglar, he made Zig Ziglar do 500. He made Bob Proctor do hundreds of free speeches and Mark Victor Hansen and Cavett Robert and all his students because that's the real secret to this is that it's hard work. You've really got to be able to entertain a live audience. I've given you an example. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting on, this is the, the tennis court at the mansion, the Bone Allen Mansion which, where we live in, in Georgia. And the reason I'm sitting out on the court today, for one, it's a gorgeous day and it's great to be out of the house. But the real reason is, is because I was a professional tennis player. I played amateur. My goal was to be a pro. I trained for 16 years. And I, b between my playing career and my teaching career, I made about $250,000 over a period of years. Nothing very impressive. Why? Was it because my marketing wasn't good? No. I was a decent amateur player, a decent junior player, but I wasn't, I wasn't a, a, a good professional player. So I only made about $250,000 total, and that's with teaching lessons. That's where most of it came from. Okay. So why didn't I make millions? because I wasn't that good, not compared to other pro tennis players. Okay, now now, now let's look at the same thing in the speaking business, because a prof as a professional athlete, the key is not marketing. The key is not who your agent is. The key is how good you are on the tennis court, or the football field, or the baseball diamond, right? The speaking business, you guys, is no different. It's not about who represents you. It's not about your speakers bureau. It's not about your marketing brochure or your video. It's about you. Are you really good enough? Are you trained? Are you rehearsed? Are you practiced over a period of years to get really good? These top speakers that make big money, I was the chairman, they're really good. I was the chairman of the Million Dollar Speakers Group, the most powerful group of professional speakers that at least are organized in the world in 2011. I know all the million dollar speakers. They, you had to make at least a million dollars a year to get in that club, that group. And, uh, and the speakers were phenomenal. They were great, they were good business people, of course but they were phenomenal on the platform. They knew how to entertain a live audience, okay? So I went from losing 50,000 to 23 years later doing, I've done $16 million in keynote and training speeches, $16 million. Now there are people that have done a lot more than me, right? That are far more successful than me. I could name a bunch of them, but for me, the 16 million was compared to what I made as a tennis player, professional tennis player, 250,000, the 16 million was good for, for my level. Now, if I was better, if I were a better speaker, would I have made 50 million? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with the 16, but yes, it's, it's really about how good you are. 
The business is part of it. There's no question about that. But you are the product. That's why you don't focus on marketing until you are really good. And I don't mean Toastmasters good. I don't mean speaking at Rotary Club good. And I don't mean being a speech major like I was good. I mean pro level good. Can you go out there and compete with Bob Proctor and Les Brown and Brian Tracy and Jim Cathcart and Jim Tunney and you know all the different speakers, Karen Buxman and Jeannie Robertson and I'm trying to think of you know Diana Boer and all these great speakers that are million dollar speakers. If you can, God bless you. But if you're new in the business, odds are that you can't. You got to get trained. You got to practice, and you got to go out there and do as many free speeches as you want. If I had a nickel for all the hours I spent on not this particular tennis court, because uh, we just built it last year, but uh, on any tennis court practicing, um, I'd be a lot richer, you know. But um, but that's what it takes. It takes practice. You take you you practice. You learn. You train. You rehearse. You do what professional athletes do if you expect to make a professional athlete living. You know, so that's some, that's the dirty little secret that no one tells you. You really have to be good. And all ignore all these marketers out there before you have a product that's really ready to go, which is you. And don't listen to people evaluate you that don't know that aren't professional level speakers because they don't know actually how good you have to be to entertain a live audience when they want to play with their phone. It's not the easiest thing to do. It's much easier and looks much easier than it actually is. So that's something to think about. It's not fun advice, it's not sexy advice, but let me tell you something, after 23 years in this business at a fairly high level, it's the right advice. It's the truth, it's real. And in this time of crazy information and all kinds of crazy things going on in the world, you know, it's nice to hear facts once in a while if you really wanna succeed. And that's, I'd like to help you do that, you know? So I hope it helps and stay safe out there. And remember, practice, practice, practice. Get good on the platform, that is the number one thing. Thanks for watching the Public Speaker's Blog. I'll see you next time.